So guys, so this is the Galaxy 8 Galaxy 8 2008K This is using the latest firmware Why not make this video? If I'm not mistaken, this is the last firmware update for this phone So in this video, I will cover how to root this phone using the stock ROM on the latest firmware okay. All the files and instruction I will provide in my blog and if you have any question you can ask in the comment section okay so stay tuned and check it out okay hello guys assalamualaikum we meet again with ombop okay this time we have samsung phone this is the Samsung Galaxy A6 2018 okay. and today we're going to try to read it using the latest stock firmware okay, let's get started uh, let's go to the settings and we're going to check the stock ROM okay. Galaxy A six with the code name is a six thousand with the code name is a six hundred g okay so for information is it's based on android 10 one ui version 2 okay let's enable first thing you need to do is enable the default option by hit the build number five times then go back <coughs> back again Go to the developer option and make sure you have turned on the OEM unlock. Okay. Uh, for the first time, after you turn on the OEM unlock, the phone will ask for formatting the data. Okay. So just accept the term and the phone will be rebooted <coughs> into the recovery mode and it will format the data. Okay, so make sure you have backup all the data and after it finished it will boot again into the android and you should go to the home screen like this and make sure that it is turned on okay after it boot uh, make sure you connect to the internet for about one or two minutes okay and after you see the screen like this it is safe for us to root the pawn okay and now uh so okay let's check again it is based on binary i don't know binary 10 maybe <laughs> uh basically it's the latest firmware okay when i make this video uh you can check in here like this okay now the first thing we want to do is let's turn off the pawn and we want to go to the download mode as usual the download mode can be accessed by press the volume up volume down press the two button at the same time and then connect the usb cable okay Okay, and when you see the green screen like this, all you need all you need to do is press the volume up once, and it will goes to the download mode. Okay, let's put down the pawn. <coughs> now let's switch the screen. Ah, uh, sorry. And then open the Odin. Where is the Odin? Okay, this one. Make sure you have unchecked auto reboot. Okay, go to the option and uncheck the auto reboot and find a replace the custom recovery. We are going to use the Orange Fox. Okay. Ah, uh, let's copy the path and hit the AP button. 
paste the pad right here open it and where is it uh, okay it seems that i already create this one the recovery dot tar from the orange fox okay just so basically basically you need to download this orange fox and you'll find the recovery dot emg extract the file create a tar file using the 7 zip okay <clears throat> right click 7 zip menu add to archive okay then you will get uh, sorry then you will get this file okay this will rename the file so i will not be confused okay okay let's copy the path put the ip button paste the pad and select the orange fox and then hit the start button <coughs> and when it finishes you'll see a green screen like this it means that we already finished okay the next step is we need to force reboot the pawn by press the volume down and power button and then when the pawn rebooted quickly switch from the volume down to the volume up while still pressing the power button okay let's try it Okay, nice. So now we are in the custom recovery, and as usual, first thing we need to do is format the one. Okay, format the internal storage. So goes to the wipe menu right here. Goes to the format data tab. Tap yes, and hit OK. Hit the home button and go to the menu. Select reboot and recovery. Okay. Um. and it's always a good idea to back up the efs okay so we're going to back up efs okay so go to the backup menu right here okay. to the backup right here like you back up and select the option where is it uh enable compression for smaller size okay back and let's select the boot modem and efs okay just for caution and swipe it hmm. okay done now let's switch the screen again okay let's put the backup here just for questions okay and now we want to uh some files okay first thing i want to copy is the edges okay there's the images okay let's use the canary one can always use the canary or the stable one okay it's just the same then select the u5 folder that contain the rm bypass inscription disabler and disable the empty okay okay all the files i uh, will put in my blog so please check the description box okay let's switch the screen again 
And now go to the wipe menu right here, select Delphi cast and data. Okay. Three items. Okay, hit home. I'll select the files. Okay, the first thing I want to install the canary. Okay, select the canary. Swipe it. Okay, let's wait. We're done. I'll go back. Go to the U5 folder, plus the LMM, okay, add the queue, inscription, add the queue, and disable the MVT. Okay, swipe it. Okay, now we're good, good to go. Okay, just hit the reboot system and we'll wait until the pawn boot it into the android wizard okay i will stop this video and let's continue when it's already in the android wizard now we are in the android wizard okay just hit next next Okay, uh, where is it? And connect to the Wi Fi. Okay, I will skip this section. And let's continue after we are in the home screen. And here we go. We are in the home screen right now. <clears throat> okay, and for the next step, I want to disable all automatic update. Okay, let's go to the Play Store and Settings. Okay, this is not necessary. I just don't want my apps to automatically update it. Okay, so then go to the Settings. <clears throat> we want to make sure that the Android automatic system is turned off. Okay, because if it's turned on, you will lose your root or you can become boot loop. Okay. And make sure you have connect to the internet <clears throat> using the data from your SIM card or the Wi-Fi. Okay. Wait about uh, one minute, maybe two minutes. Okay, and you can see right here <clears throat> we already have mages, but it's not perfect yet, so we have to update it. Okay. So just open the mages. Okay, and it will ask for update, downloading mages. It will ask for permission to install apps. Just hit settings, give it permission, go back, and hit install. Okay. <clears throat> and then you can see now it's changing the icon okay let's open it and it usually will ask to restart the pawn okay it says require additional setups okay just hit okay and the pawn will be rebooted uh Okay. Select direct install and let's go. Okay. And hit reboot. Now we're back. Okay, let's 
open the android <laughs> and let's open the images okay yeah okay it will ask for additional setups is it okay and it will reboot again in five seconds okay just follow the instruction and you will ready go good to go so it has been to reboot and let's open the images you can see right here <clears throat> mages has been installed okay so after this you can configure your mages and here okay the settings make sure you enable zygis and enforce denialist okay i will not cover this one you can uh check in my other video okay in the description box okay now let's open the root checker just for fun okay check grinded and <clears throat> your sma 600g is rooted on android 10 okay nice so that's all guys that's all on how to root the galaxy a6 2008 okay and stock rom the latest rock rom when i'm making this video okay i hope <clears throat> this video help you if you like please give it a thumb and also i have a lot of video about custom rom and routing please check my other video maybe some of the video will help you to root or custom rom your pawn okay and i will very appreciate if you subscribe because it makes me excited to make a new video okay thank you guys have a nice day stay healthy stay safe and wassalamualaikum